the first of Wednesday's reviews is uh, Horton. Horton Here's a Who here at the top. Uh, I won't show the other two reviews. And then uh, the second one is going to be the day after tomorrow. Um, but I'm currently doing this on Sunday because I'm trying to stay ahead of everything because I'm currently behind on uploading. Um, this was a Dr. Seuss movie um, with Jim Carrey playing Horton and Steve Carell playing the mayor of Whoville. Um, now I guess, I'm not really sure how many different like versions of Whoville there are, but The Grinch Stole Christmas is a different version of Whoville as well, so it's kind of odd because Whoville's on a snowflake in that, and uh, and this one it was actually on a speck of dust. So I'm not sure whether it gets, like, it must it must go through the seasons, like it gets frozen in the wintertime and then it thaws out in the spring. So it just stays the same, but it actually... Um, changes throughout the seasons or maybe the location of Whoville changes or maybe there are several different small towns of Whoville I'm not exactly sure how Dr. Seuss wanted that to work but anyhow this is about an elephant who finds a speck of dust on a flower and basically nobody in the jungle believes that um, there's small people on this flower especially a kangaroo who basically tells him that he's crazy, that Horton is crazy, and tries any way that she can to make sure that her children are influenced by Horton in any way, because she wants life in the jungle to stay the same, but Horton is determined that there are people on this speck, and he's determined in any way to show the people of the jungle that there are actually people on this speck, even if they don't believe it. Um, eventually, um, the Who's actually break a sound barrier between the two worlds and are able to finally show everybody that they are really there through music and tons of noise and singing and other means. Um, but Horton definitely goes on an adventure. Um, the kangaroo goes and finds this, uh, I guess, what do they call them? Um, vulture named Vlad who tries to take out the people of Whoville and destroy Horton's dreams of ever getting the Who's to Mount Newell because that's where they live in the town of, or the jungle of Newell. So he's trying to get the Who's to Mount Newell where they will be safe and Vlad actually gets the flower away from him and is able to drop it into thousands or millions of more flowers um, and Horton has to look through all the flowers in order to find the Who's again. He does do that and is able to start his mission back up again. But uh, originally the kangaroo tells him that it would be bad for him. And it, I guess it did turn out quite bad for him um, throughout this movie because he does have to try to evade them or evade her at least and try to get the flower back from Vlad during part of this movie. Unfortunately, Vlad fails because Horton is determined and searches for an entire day till he finally founds, finds the town of Whoville again. Um, and then his friend is a mouse who tells him that he should probably get rid of the flower because it's going to be bad for them. But uh, his friend stays hidden the entire movie until the very end where he tells Horton to run from the angry mob. And, um... <clears throat> Sorry. And uh, runs from run from the angry mob, and Horton doesn't until they're almost caught up with him. But anyway, um, that's when they're trying. That's when the kangaroo is proven wrong, and the jungle of Newell all comes together as one once they find out that the Who's are real, which is good. So this is actually a really well done movie. Now the only other Dr. Seuss movies I've seen are The Grinch. So like. The Grinch Stole Christmas, like the animated one and the live action one, and I've seen the live action Cat in the Hat. I'm not really sure how many other Dr. Seuss movies there are. I think the Norlax might be one of them, if I'm saying that correctly. Anyhow, I would give this movie a, a 4 out of 5, just because um, I'm not particularly... It, dep it depends on the animated movie, I would say. That just because I'm not a kid anymore, I don't really enjoy this as much as some other movies. I mean, it was it was funny. It was a good. It was a well done movie for an animated movie. Um, 
some things probably could have been done a little bit better. There are jokes in here that probably kids wouldn't understand. So as you grow up, you uh, you understand those better. I mean, those personally don't really need to be put in there as far as I'm concerned for a children's movie. I don't know. Just my opinion. I mean, in, maybe in a live action version of this, I could understand. But for the animated version, you could probably leave that out. But as always, um, link to my Instagram account is below. Like, comment, subscribe, leave your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it before. And if you haven't and this review helps, um, go watch the movie then. Um, that's where I will leave off this review for the first of Wednesday's reviews. And I will see you later on Wednesday with a day with with a review of the day after tomorrow. Bye bye.